Here's a rudimentary test of the Solo 1 liter sprayer. Uh, these squares are about 4 feet each and there's 5 of them so it's 20 feet to the garage. Uh, let's see, how do I pump this and hold the phone at the same time? The Solo sprayer just has some water in here. I want to do a, a spray test to see how far it goes and it is hard to see with the background but it is going to the just before the garage which so 20 feet so just be, before 20 feet uh, it's so hard to see the end of the spray out there with this camera can i zoom i can zoom um, a little less pressure now that's probably really loud in the speaker um but it almost gets there six and a half meters um it's the one liter solo sprayer uh pressure and distance test actually i don't not the pressure test but the distance it uh it'll go the distance nearly 20 feet on the on the like you know spray and, and then of course you can adjust the spray and i'll put the the uh, link to this uh, sprayer in the video description below but uh it's it's also adjustable well, I really should have brought my tripod with me today to show you these things. Um, the, the, it'll hold down uh, with that trigger, and then it'll release and stop when you release the trigger. And then it locks, which is nice. Um, and uh, you can adjust the nozzle by twisting it. There, it's out of juice or water. Um, but twisting the nozzle, you can get more of a mist, a finer mist spray. So it's a really great sprayer. Um, inexpensive solo good brand uh lasts longer some of the other reviews you'll see uh from the link that you go through below uh talk about the other sprayers uh not even making it through their first use let alone uh, these last for years so enjoy hey this is damon i have a master's degree in agriculture and uh I've been gardening over 30 years and today um, with this amazing solo sprayer. I will put links uh, below the video so you can see where to get these things, but uh, we're going to apply the Florel Growth Regulator to knock out the fruit in these trees. Because uh, uh, it's full, in full flower, that's the time to do it, the recommended time. Uh, April 11th here in Brooklyn, New York. and. Uh, uh, it also, let's see, prevents nuisance fruit on ornamental trees and shrubs, removes mistletoe from ornamental conifers and deciduous trees. Um, it's mostly phosphoric acid and 96% other ingredients, which who knows what that could be. All kinds of surfactants and stuff. They don't re aren't required to list. Um, and so the Florel brand growth regulator uh, prevents nuisance fruit on ornamental trees and shrubs, removes mistletoe from ornamental conifers and deciduous trees. That's a pretty good one. I didn't know it did that. I could use a lot more of this. Use in production of cantaloupe, cucumber, pumpkin, and squash hybrid seed. Induces, induces flowering of ornamental bromeliads. That's probably not a high use item, but interesting nevertheless. Uh, reduces plant height of potted daffodils and stem topple of potted hyacinth increases lateral branching in ornamentals so it'll, so it'll actually increase more branches um, in landscape plants um, but we're using it today to knock out the plums in this tree that just rained down on the patio causing uh, lots of issues uh, during barbecue seasons the barbecue is still covered it's april 11th so they're not quite out yet but anyway full flower we're gonna apply this this product with this amazing solo sprayer i love these things it's a pump sprayer so you don't need to uh i don't know it's just a handy one hand deal there's no like other wand or uh powered in, in anything it's just uh, very simple um and but very effective the the spray pattern is even um the it, it's long lasting a nice thick uh gauge uh plastic uh, one liter is, is kind of the perfect thing for just these backyard sort of applications and again, I'll put the link below the video, so check that out. Hey, this is Damon reviewing products for gardening, and today we have the Growth Regulator product, Florel Brand Growth Regulator, and it is for, uh, this is the front, it is for aborting fruit on various fruit trees. They say olives and things. Um, we're doing it on a plum tree. It's in full bloom. That's when they recommend to apply this product. 
Um, also got the Solo sprayer. This is the one liter. These things are awesome. It's the pump handle, and you can adjust the, um, the little bell sprayer dealie in front, and it'll theoretically uh, get high enough into this tree to uh, reach the blossoms with the with the spray material. Uh, it's the growth regulator is to knock out the the fruit. Uh, they have a, a terrible fruiting problem where all the fruit winds up all over the ground and yellow jackets, uh, all kinds of bugs, fruit flies, it's just a complete mess when they're trying to have a nice party with their kids or to barbecue in the warm nice season that's coming right up. So it's April 20th today. Uh, we are in full bloom with this plum tree. I can show you some of the flowers. There are lots of them. Um, and each one of those theoretically becomes a plum, uh, which would be a lot. They had a huge load last year. It really did coat the, the ground. And you can see just these, these, each branch is completely loaded. It would weigh them down, so it'll start dropping some early, just aborting on its own because it can't carry that full load. But we're going to apply the growth regulator to knock down all the fruit. Um, and this is the time to do it before there are problems. Full flowers is what, what's recommended. So olives, uh, all kinds of different fruit trees um, in conditions like this where it started out as a good idea. Oh, let's have some plums. And then, oh my gosh, there's way too many plums. So, so here we go with, I'm um, going to apply with the sprayer. I'm not going to do it on video because I don't want to get my camera all goopy, but uh, check out the links below the video to see uh, where you can get the product and the sprayer and happy gardening. So here I am, the plum tree overloaded, revisited. It's kind of like a matrix thing, reloaded. Um, sprayed with the aforementioned spray in the aforementioned bottle in the aforementioned video. And this is the result. Uh, still had lots of fruit. I just, it's um, July 20, or June 27th, right before the 4th of July. And so, uh, I was able to knock out a lot of the fruit, so it didn't. I got a really good application on there, and still had a considerable amount of green fruit. Anyway, the customer's concern was the rotting fruit, which this would have turned into. But they, this is like, mm, trying to come up with a percent of maybe 15 percent of what actually fell last year, um, and made their uh, holiday, summer holidays, uh, very full of bugs. So these are much easier to clean up, <laughs> less squishy and less buggy and, um, but still a significant fruit load, uh, very prolific tree. And, uh, but these will sweep right up and go right into the compost bin. So not a problem there, but, um, Trying to come up with maybe a rating for the the spray and applicator. I'd recommend actually climbing up into the tree and getting it into the upper canopy rather than trying to spray from below, which is I climbed up there like halfway, but but really getting into the, the upper branches and mains, maybe spraying like kind of down from above, I think would be a more effective reach in application. Uh, for the spray and the small sprayer a, a, Obviously a higher powered sprayer would do a lot better But um, I was able to knock out most of the fruit fairly easily uh, Even though it's green and, and should be kind of hanging on a little stronger um, I was able to give it a pretty good shake and get a lot of it down but uh, I wonder about even a second application of the spray because I believe that all the flowers weren't open the first time around. So uh, a lot of them were open. It seemed like the perfect time according to the directions. But I think that a second or maybe even third application would, uh, in, in the upper canopy would, would knock out a lot more fruit if you're looking for closer to a zero fruit load. Uh, although I don't believe that's entirely possible. I think we could get a lot closer to that uh, with the spray and even reusing the sprayer just more applications maybe three applications during the blooming week or over even two weeks of blooming um, to make sure to to 
capture the in the, the peak flower zone that, that the flowers get a really uh, deep amount of coverage, um, which may require more material, uh, but it's not expensive, so it's just a matter of labor and time uh, uh, and the, the trip out to come apply it. Uh, but, I, but two to three spread two applications, uh, at least during the first year, uh, would be my recommendation. And I don't. Uh, we'll see next season what the what the flowering cycle is like and if uh, um, well I'm sure at this point a, a repeat application will be needed but if, I believe with the two to three uh, applications the first year uh, I believe you'd see a lot more diminished loading and the second year uh, might not need another application but, but we're definitely gonna do uh, at least one application probably I'll probably do a two to three application next year just to really knock these things out um, uh, so that I don't need to do a, a mid-season visit to check up on it. But I wanted to give you the update and happy gardening.